Britain has too many guns. That is why myself and Amber and the government are here to bring in new legislation to stop the violent crime that's happening. We're gonna cut down on guns, offensive weapons, and anything related to those items. This legislation is coming in within weeks and I'm going to show you some of the items that we are proposing to ban. First thing that we're banning is any types of gun. So that is your traditional guns and then the types of guns that are still prolific and people can still buy them in shops. So the first thing would be one of these hot air guns which from my research is a type of almost flamethrower it is designed for burning people it has three different settings and it's even got a punching knuckle protection part deadly item that will be banned second item are these multiple mastic guns as far as i'm aware these are full semi-auto weapons with a large trigger make it easier to use extendable stocks that's one thing we want to get rid of we do not want pistol grips and we do not want extending stocks to make things easier this one also then turns from a rifle into a pistol for easier shots. That will be banned. And that one is also a plastic version which should get through metal detectors. Here is the more traditional version, the metal version. Again, with the extendable stock, pistol grip, all things we want to ban. And this is the traditional metal version like I said again pistol grips extendable stocks cannot be owned staple gun handheld single hand pistol full semi-auto again has a clipazine that holds up to 50 projectiles you can buy boxes from from asda of all places that have five thousand so that will be banned outright do not want to be able to get the, the ammunition for these things that easily boxes of five thousand for these pistols and what makes it even worse is if those aren't good enough this can be set to a higher power and then you can use sharpshooter ammunition. That's what snipers would use. Glue guns, again, another pistol. Full semi-auto again. This one doesn't have a clipazine or anything like that. Single shot as far as I'm aware. I have spent 15 to 20 minutes researching these things. So this one has a large trigger, easy to pull, and I'm assuming this would be possibly for gluing up people's mouths or eyes, who knows. But again, a gun is a gun, so it has to be banned. Large rivet gun, this one comes with multiple different barrels for different projectiles, spring loaded, single shot, but can take hundreds of different sizes of projectile absolutely deadly they're like needles that'll be banned so that was the guns that we're banning there may be more added to the list soon now i'm just going to show you one knife we found recently that is probably as dangerous as the zombie knives that have been banned recently so this is i'll tell you the name first and I'll show you it. This is a stripping knife, which from my research would be 
a rapist knife. It is used for making a person strip down of their clothes while threatening them at the same time before you rape and abuse them. This one looks like it's even been used and even has some kind of white powder on it which I would assume would be cocaine. Stripping knives totally banned. So that's all the banned guns and knives. The last thing we're going to propose is a ban on anything featuring the terms or words similar to bomber, combat, aids, gun, anything like that. So that would mean bomber jackets are now banned, combat trousers are now banned, hearing aids are now banned, any books or DVDs featuring the words knives or knives or guns the words and the pictures and any groups or organizations featuring the word gun knife or pictures so one thing that would mean off the top of my head would mean the group guns and roses would now be banned Don't become a victim, don't have nightmares, do sleep well, good night.